Hallelujah. Glory to God. Merry Christmas. And I'm giving all praises just in case I'm not here for New Year's. Happy New Year's. A brand new day, a brand new uh, year. Everybody ought to be rejoicing. What's the Bible saying? The joy of the Lord is your strength for the 2017 and 2016 is going out with a bang. As I always say to my girlfriend, one, two, three, bam. That's just how it's going out. It's going out with a bam. So I'm just so happy to be here another day, new day. Donna Jones, get it right for 2017. I'm just letting you know I got to get it right. Not only do I have to get it right, you have to get it right. But in the meantime, God is still loving on you. He's just rejoicing. His arms are spread wide open. He's still waiting on some of you. And some of you have come. Praise God. Welcome into the kingdom of God. And you know what? I can't sing, so I ain't going to sing because I don't want nobody going off and laughing at me or whatever. Whatever will be. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> but I just want you to know, find a church home. Go somewhere uh, New Year's Eve and celebrate. That's what you celebrate. You celebrate Jesus, the birth of Christ. Go somewhere. I'm, I don't care if you just stay 15 minutes. Get away from your regular environment and go. And I'm telling you, and it says here, Oh, come, all ye faithful. Come, come and worship and, re, and just relax. Chill, you know, just chill. A lot of people don't want to chill. Let me tell you, I can chill. I, I really can because I can go to my bedroom and I want something, and I just get my cell phone, and I dial my husband's number, and I say, honey, could you bring me some water? I'm chilling. Yeah, I know he needs to chill too, but you know, it's my turn. Okay, it's me time. All right. But it says, oh, come all ye faithful, joyful, and triumph. Come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him. Well, okay, we're not in Bethlehem. But come somewhere in Champaign-Urbana, Indiana, uh, Bloomington, Decatur. I don't care where you at. Just come and worship him. Thank him for 2016. But let me tell you, uh, there's a, 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 a scripture that says, In everything... Give him thanks. So I don't know what happened to you in 2016. Lots of things happened in our family. And, and it said in everything, give thanks. It wasn't, I didn't want to uh, be grateful or thankful, but that's what he told me to do. So I'm being obedient to the word. And I want to be a witness unto those that are around me to count it all joy. Because the joy of the Lord not your friends, not music. This is the joy of the Lord, meaning for you to go somewhere and shout and dance. You know, we're getting away from dancing and shouting and running around the church. We're getting far, far away from that. And he said, count it all joy. He said in his word, leap before the Lord, jump before the Lord, dance before the Lord, play instruments before the Lord. And we're getting away from all of that. That is not godly. That's, that's called man-made. Okay, you, I know you're throwing tomatoes at me and oranges, but that's okay. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. I'm going to say, this is what my daddy said, Abba, Abba. And I'm going to do what he said do. And a lot of times we, we want to listen to man. We want to say, well, uh, my pastor said, what did God say? What did God tell us? He said, the commandment, he said, love one another. He didn't tell me to go by because you gave me a gift. Because you gave me a ride to the store. 
because you gave me a ride to the hospital. You gave me a ride to the doctor. You took my kids to school. You went and picked up one of my children because I didn't have a car. And now uh, you want to love on me because I did things or I want to love on you because you did things for me. No, 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 no. He didn't give any stipulation. He didn't say why. He just said the, the, the new commandment is love. Check it out. One another. I just want to keep saying Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, hallelujah. Because he said, come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. We got to lift up our hands and begin to adore him and worship him and praise him because he is worthy to be praised. And a lot of times you we, we preparing to go New Year's Eve to the club. Oh, hey, been there, done that. Come on now. Been there, done that. But you know now we can go and come together. But when we come together now, we got to come worshiping him, praising him, shouting. And sometimes we sing songs and it ain't doing nothing because mm, you, you want to praise him. And they singing all these sad songs. I'm telling you, hallelujah. You, you see how loud I am. I know y'all laughing. I am loud, and I like being loud. I, I know there's some songs that we have to worship him, you know, in, and, and, and the songs are in my heart, and they, they play them in the choir. I'm just so grateful, grateful for what my father, Abba, Abba, my daddy did through the blood of Jesus. I am so excited about, I'm learning how to get this uh, cell phone together. I, yes, I am. I, I really am. But... <laughs> Everybody can work them but me. Okay. But it tells me to come and adore him. He said, let us adore him, Christ Jesus, Christ. Let us adore him, Christ the Lord, the true God, the true God, the real God, omnipotent God. I mean, an awesome God, a God that we can't even comprehend the love that he has for us. We can't even comprehend. In what he did. Yes, we say he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross. And that's as far as we take it. But when you get a movie and you find out that his skin was ripped up for us, his skin was taken back. He was whipped 39 stripes for you, you, and you. And, you know, we got to get our brains off of trying to entertain people, but entertain Christ. Go before him and say, I want to show you how much I love you. I want to, I mean, I, I get in the shower and I praise him because I can't sing out loud, so I don't want nobody to hear me. But I praise him each and every day. I, I magnify him. And there's times when I'm just silent because I'm saying, thank you for a new day. Thank you for your mercy. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. I'm just glorifying him. And a lot of people don't want to glorify him. A lot of people don't want to throw their hands up. They don't want to dance. But we're getting away from dancing. God told us to shout, David danced out of his clothes because he was glorifying God. No, 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 I ain't going to dance out of my clothes. But I'll come out the glasses and the shoes and the purse and the jacket. First of all, I'm having a hot flash anyway. Uh <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting back to the real stuff. But it says, sing choirs of angels. Sing in exhortation. Sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God. All glory in the highest. See the shepherds summoned to his, his candles, leaving their flock, drawing nigh to glaze on the, 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 the new birth, the newborn Savior. And we just got to begin to thank God for Jesus and what he did for us. Yes, he walked around too just like we did, but he, we could never do what Jesus did because, first of all, he took away all of our sins. He forgave us for everything that we have done wrong, 2,000 years ago. Everybody wants to say, forgive me, God, forgive me. He did. Oh, did I get excited? Okay, I'm sorry. 
Let me do it again. He did. He forgave you 2,000 years. You don't have to keep saying, forgive me, forgive me. What you do is you repent and, not, and don't do it again. I don't know how many times you got to repent, but repent and turn, turn from our wicked ways. I said our wicked ways, okay? But here's the time now that we have to thank God for Jesus. We have to lift him up. Yes, whatever you want to say about Christmas, whatever dates you, that's irrelevant. Who wants to get into all that old mess? All I want to know and do is to, I don't want to know anything. I want to magnify him, glorify him, acknowledge him who woke me up this day. And I pray that everybody on earth, and there's some things have gone on, and there's a scripture that says, in everything, uh, give uh, thanks. Some things we just really can't give thanks, but that's what he told us to do. Because you know what? If we don't give thanks, it's going to get from our head to our heart, and we're going to be miserable. Why, God? Why, God? We ain't going to be able to get up in the morning. But God wants us to say, you know what? I went through this, this, and this, and, and I'm counting it all joy because God, God didn't do it. God did not kill. And I said that last time I was here. But we can count it all joy. My God, count it all joy. He said count it all joy because the joy of the Lord is our strength to be able to go forward, to be a witness to somebody that's going through the same thing you just went through. Uh, he says, sin labors. That scripture, a lot of times I, I used to say, God, sin labors, sin labors. And one day he just said, well, you labor, go. And I'm like, okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going to be a witness to somebody. Okay, I'm, I, I'm not going to a door or go to a friend's home. Sometimes we need to just get out of our comfort zone and go and visit somebody and, and tell them how much we love them. And, and I want to tell Deacon Exum, I love you and, and, and I appreciate you and you just the man that God sent to us. And I just want to tell you that I love you so much. I didn't get around like I should, but I love you. So I'm just grateful for just being able to glorify God in other people, thanking him for just loving on us, thanking him for his goodness and his mercy. Born this happy morning, Jesus, oof, whew. he's, he, you know, he's no baby no more. He's no baby. It's Jesus. He's here. He's, he's, he said, I never leave you nor forsake you. And, and, and we just keep saying, go there, go here. Jesus is everywhere. We don't have to send him nowhere. He is everywhere. And then we thank God for all the angels that's camping around us. Hallelujah. I need, Angel, I need you to go over there and, and surround my nieces and nephews. I need you, angels, to go over there, surround around my children. Angels, I need you to go on my job and camp around the building on the inside and the outside. Jesus, I need the angels to go forth around the hospitals and the institutions and the schools. And yes, yeah, school's out now, but go forward, camp around, that all spirits that are not like God be gone because I rebuke them and I curse them to the root. And I'm thanking God for divine healing each and every day. Listen to this. <laughs> In Jesus' name. And when I say Jesus, ooh, mm, hallelujah. Ooh, ba -ba 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 -shanda -de -ke. Hallelujah. All demons and devils and imps and whoo, anything that ain't like God got to flee in Jesus' name. God be the glory. To thee be the glory. And I thank him for his grace that has been given to us. It's a gift. Everything is a gift from God you don't have to pay for it. Hallelujah. Love, peace, and joy. His glory. Oh my God. Everything has been given to us free. 
and I'm free indeed. And I'm thanking him and thanking him each and every day for his goodness. Thanking him for the angels that camped around each and every one of us. You, you, and you camped around us all night last night. We getting ready to celebrate. Stop thinking about what didn't happen in the last couple of days. That's not what God want us to do. We have to love on everybody. Things happen around us we don't like, but he said in everything, give thanks. So in everything, I give thanks. No, no, I didn't want my mama to leave. No, I didn't want my sister to, to leave. No, I didn't want my brother to leave. But in everything, give thanks because now I'm a witness that I enjoyed my sisters. I enjoyed my mom. I, I enjoyed my friends that have left here. I have enjoyed them and I loved on them. So that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to love one another and not be angry, not being um, prejudiced. He doesn't, that's not God when you prejudice. That's not God when you going off on somebody. That's not God when Donna Jones wants to beat up on somebody. <laughs> and I'm only four feet and 10 inches, but yes, sometimes I do. Okay, but I gotta calm down. But that's what he said. We have to calm down sometimes. We have to take a deep breath and say, you know, God, I know that ain't the way to do things, and I know that's not your way. So he says, just, you know, angels from the rims of glory, wing, wing your flight over all the earth. Yet, yes, you, Father, who sang creation uh, uh, story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, worship. Come, come. I don't know what church home you're going to find. Some people don't go to church and can't make them go. But I can say that. He said, assemble yourself in the sanctuary. Assemble yourself in it. Because a lot of people want to look at TV or sit at home and read a book. No. Somebody needs you. One of your friends might need to see you come, and you, you can lift them up, and God will exalt you to be that friend where you, just being in their presence, will bring joy. Don't think that it's all about you. That's our problem. Me, myself, and I, that's what my husband used to tell me. If it ain't your way, it ain't no way. Oh, I don't do that. Well, I have to repent sometimes. We all have to repent. Stop playing. <laughs> I thank God for the things he's done. I thank God for the shepherds back then, you know, that did what God said and went forward and they came into the, the newborn baby. I thank God they got to see it. We, we didn't get to see it. But guess what? Ooh, he's a big baby now, you know. Jesus is huge. He's bigger than a bomb. He's bigger than the earth. He's bigger than anything you can imagine. And nobody on this earth can is bigger than him. Amen. I don't care what you say. It's not. If you say Jesus over something, it's going to cease. If you say Jesus over something, it's going to flourish. If you say Jesus over something, it's going to blossom. I'm telling you the word of Jesus is love, peace, and joy. You're going to blossom. You're going to be exhorted to go forth and go into uh, just the world. Hallelujah. But like he said, you got to count it all joy. You got to get prepared to do the works of God. And I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful for the songs that we have. It, it, we, we did this um, today, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And there's joy in everything we do. I, if you take joy with you, people are going to say, um, how come you like that? How come you smile all the time? How come you always happy? Okay, and, and I, I love it because that lets me know they see Jesus in me. They don't see Donna Joan. Their spirit is seeing Jesus Christ in me. And that's what it's, I don't want to see no man. I don't want to see no woman. I want to see the, the, the accolade, uh, what, what is the word? Um, all the, uh, oh, it's going to come to me. But I want to see everything in you that Jesus would do. My Jesus don't cuss. 
He don't fuss. He don't down me. He don't hit me, take me down, Lord. He doesn't do any of that. He's a God that will exalt you. And he's a God of dreams and visions and gold. But you know what? You have not because you asked not. Did you tell God that you wanted a red car and then you switched it to the green? That's considered a double-minded person. God is only when you are pacific about what you want. You got to tell him what you want. And I, and, and I know people get so tired, but I'm trying to bring things to you. And God, you think God is trying to take things away from you. And that is not true. And he, this is the, the king, the king, born in the king of Israel, the king, the king. He's the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He's a God that we can smile at because you know what? He's never done anything bad. He's a God that we can sit still and he'll bring something to our mind and make us laugh. He's a God that is a peace. And you know what? There's a scripture that says, if you can't handle it and, and it ain't what you want it to be, cast it on him. Tell him what you want. You don't talk to him enough. You got to talk to him and tell him. I stand sometimes just on the back of my, my kitchen counter and I just lean back. I say, you know what? I took this on myself. I didn't consult you about it. I didn't talk to you about it. I didn't even mention it to you, even though you know all things. He says, I just want you to talk to me, Donna. I said, okay, 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 okay. Usha, I'm going to get it together. I'm going to talk to you about this situation because I can't, I can't handle it. I can't solve it. And then, I, you know, I, I think about what he did on the cross. And I said, you know what, Jesus, you. Oh, I got to give you that because that goes with that. And if that happens and this don't happen, I'm a hot mess. I, I'm telling you, people want to talk about the world problems and what's going I want to talk about Jesus. I want to talk to you about how life is so beautiful. No, you might not get the things or have the things that you want right then, but be patient and wait on God and he said know that I am that I am whatever you want God to be you got to talk to him if you want things to happen and you think your friends your neighbors somebody out of town a rich person a billionaire a millionaire forget about Lotto it's not God yes they get the money and the next thing you know they went bankrupt and then there are some that are diligent in taking care of their money. But God does not take chances. He's a God that says, trust in me. Lean on me. Put your confidence in me and stand still. That's what it's all about. And you know, I, I praise God for um, the why. I don't know those people and they don't know me. But I know this much. I know that they see Christ in me. Because they, they, they'll move somebody out the way just to bump my hand and say, and I know what that means. Everywhere you go, you can't say Jesus. They can't even say Merry Christmas. How somebody, you know what? I'm not understanding, but I do know people need a job, so I'm not crazy. But it's sad that we can't give God the glory because the man that's sitting up high, the billionaire that owned the company, it was Jesus that gave him the thought and, and, and gave him the blueprint to do what he's doing. And he doesn't even want us to say, hi, Merry Christmas. That's sad. That's real sad, but I'm going to lift him up because you know what? That's just a man. I got to lift up Jesus, that Jesus exhort him and let him know I'm the one that gave you that dream, that vision, and that goal. 
See, we gotta, and this is what we do. This is what the Christian people are supposed to do. Pray, 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 pray. Stop criticizing people. We got to stop criticizing people because, you know, people don't think like we think. They don't, they don't say how, we, they, they don't talk like we talk. But if you talk in the word of God, hallelujah, that's what I tell people. It's not about your opinion. Talk the word. Speak to those mountains. Be thy removed. Be gone. Bye. And press toward the high mark of your high calling. Press. Press, press. And you know what? Some people, you got to press your way to the church. You got to press because somebody in your house is telling you you, ain't, you can't go to church. Somebody in your house saying, I know you tired. You need to rest. No, you need to press to the church. You need to press and hear the word and write down what you heard. Hey, we got cell phones. Now you can put the uh, recorder on and record it and take it home. And listen to what was said. Listen to the music. If that's all you like, listen to the music. Record the music. But just begin to rejoice and say, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. It's all about Jesus is the reason for the season that we magnify him. And it's sad to say we magnify him at this time. And the mother 11 months, we don't do anything. But now you see the lights, you see the presents, and, and, and you're just going nuts, spending all your money. And then you know what? It actually only lasts uh, Christmas Day eight hours. Eight hours during the day, okay? I'm just saying. And y'all losing it, Donna Jones. I got to talk about myself. I know y'all loving on me, and I know y'all laughing, but Jesus, it's all about Jesus. He's given us an opportunity to love on somebody else. But you know what? This is an everyday 12-month procedure that we love on everybody. And we rejoice 12 months out of every year and not just these eight hours. And I want to say thank you for listening and to Be You Say Bye. I'm Donna Jones, and I'm rejoicing. I'm happy this day as well as the next uh, 12 months coming. I'm having a good time. I'm above ground, and I thank God for the, this beauty that he's given us. Beauty everywhere. Beauty in my home. Beauty outside my home. Beauty right here at UP TV. And God bless you. I love you. Merry Christmas. And